Hello everybody and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today we've got the Aggie Bowl featuring the UC Davis Aggies traveling out to take on the New Mexico State Aggies. And New Mexico State is pretty loaded. They've got a really good fullback, 92 overall Cody Turner, a good right guard. Their defense is solid. they got a good safety, middle linebacker, defensive tackle. Their quarterback, an 85 overall. And I am not liking our chances against him. I predicted this game would be New Mexico State winning 52-24 to just because of how much depth they have. Both of their safeties are solid. they got a really good halfback. And they have just so much depth. I don't know if UC Davis can keep up with them. But we're going to find out here after the guys make their predictions. Brad Nessler along with my partners Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. We're going to enjoy great weather in tonight's game as the skies are clear and the temperature is just right for the Aggies and the New Mexico State Aggies. We're looking forward to a great matchup here early in the college football season. And here come the Aggies. The Aggies appear to be completely overmatched in this one. What do you think, Kirk? New Mexico State has one of the best all-around corners in all of college football. His ability to shut down opponents' best receivers is a huge asset, and they will dominate on defense. Nice pick, Kirk. Got to go with the Aggies. All right, we've heard Lee Corso's pick. Now let's take it down to the field for the action about to begin. Here's the coin talk. So they're all going with the Aggies, just not our Aggies. So let's see if their predictions are right and mine as well. First play of the game, Carter, gone, touchdown. <laughs> and that is a very fast start for New Mexico State against the um, fourth-ranked defense in the nation. UC Davis came in today ranked fourth. They have nine takeaways on the season. But they're not off to a good start today. Let's we'll see if their offense can fare any better. They have the seventh-ranked rushing attack in the country. And they're going to start off throwing as McKinley makes a nice catch at the 35-yard line. Third and nine, though. Owen Black forced to roll out, and he is sacked way back at the 30-yard line. And not a good start at all for UC Davis. New Mexico State has a quick score and a quick stop. Cole taking a shot over the middle, and it's caught anyway by Carter. What a hit by Trey Henry the third. Cole play action. Over the middle, picked off by Trey Henry III. That's a user interception for yours truly. Big stop for UC Davis. Definitely what they needed at this point because it was about to be 14 to nothing the way New Mexico State was moving the football. Here's Owen Black pitching out to Lito Lozano who came into today's game with over 400 yards on the ground, four touchdowns and 20 broken tackles. Black. Rolling out, Tyreek Taylor with a catch and a first down. Nice tackle by the linebacker. Option play, Black up the middle, breaking a tackle. Gets close to midfield. He has been outstanding on the ground for the Aggies this season. And pretty solid through the air as he completes a nice pass out to Bell for the first down. Lozano up the gut, picks up seven more yards. And they're going to go option again. Black gets the first down and more inside the 25 and out of bounds around the 21-yard line. Another great run from him. And he's going to take off again inside the 10. Five slides out of bounds at the 4-yard line. Now second and goal from the 5. Black hurtling into the end zone. Touchdown, UC Davis Aggies. And it's all tied up here, folks. So UC Davis doing a little bit better than I thought they would today as Cole gets close to the first down marker on the scramble, but he did not get it. So UC Davis gets the stop, they take over, and Black takes off, reaching for the first down and gets it. Second and six, Black taking a shot out to Gatlin, who comes down with it past midfield, what a catch. Black gonna throw again here, rolling out left side, and he's gonna take off a lot of space in front of him at the 30, the 20. The 15 and gets crushed at the 11. Fumbles the football out of bounds. Third and nine. Owen Black to the end zone. Deflected away, almost caught by Jaquan Brown. Incomplete though, they send on the field goal unit. And the kick is right down the middle. And UC Davis takes a 10-7 lead with 1.21 to go in the first half. 
Nice 79 yard 12 play drive. Cole taking a deep shot wide open again is Carter and Trey Henry III does not have the speed to catch up to him. But just like that New Mexico State strikes again. Carter over 100 yards receiving already and two very similar plays. They might have been the same but they had the same result I know that. Second and three a minute to go. Black hit as he throws it right side caught by Jaquan Brown at the 36 yard line and tack on 15 more yards for the face mask penalty. Head coach from Mexico State fired up on the sideline not happy with that call. Black left side Gatlin comes down with a jump ball at the 24 yard line. It's his best game of the season so far already. You see Davis kicks another field goal through the uprights to make it a 14-13 ball game with 25 seconds to go. But here is the ensuing kickoff to the 8-yard line returned by Johnson. Past the 30, past the 40, the 50, Jaquan Brown giving chase. And he's not going to have the speed to catch him. Touchdown, New Mexico State. Unreal, 92-yard return, 12 seconds to go here. And Black setting up the screen right side. Finds Jaquan Brown. He's got the first down and more. Past the 30, all the way past the 40-yard line. A perfectly timed screenplay. And Black's going to take a shot here. Pressured. Rolling out left side. Throws it from the 35 all the way to the 20. And it is dropped by Sam Gatlin. And that'll get us to the half. 21-13. New Mexico State on top of UC Davis. 250 yards of offense for UC Davis, 187 for New Mexico State. And Lozano right up the gut, huge run to start it off, breaks a tackle, gets clobbered at the 34-yard line. Black rolling out left side, and he's going to try to throw it too late, and the pass hits the ground. New Mexico State takes over. Deep shot downfield at the 15. It's brought down by Day in between two defenders. Wow, what a perfectly placed throw. Cole right side, wide open is Harris, but Zachary Hyde has other ideas for that play. Huge hit. Second down. Cole sacked. Andrew Jackson gets a sack. And he actually had two coming into today's game, so that is his third. And there's another touchdown pass to Smith. And New Mexico State on top 28-13 now. But Andrew Jackson's stats coming into today's game. 13 tackles, six sack or six tackles for loss, two sacks, and a forced fumble. And Owen Black with a nice carry up the gut. And he's going to roll out left side. Look at all the space in front of him. He'll have the first down and more out of bounds inside New Mexico State territory. And he's going to take a shot here to Gatlin once again. Caught inside the 20-yard line. He has been the go-to guy in the receiving game. Black rolling out. Francis wide open, and he never saw the ball. That should have been a touchdown. Instead, Black gets sacked on the next play back at the 24-yard line. And New Mexico State, third and 16 now. Aggies looking for another stop. And Gatlin comes down with it for his first career receiving touchdown. And there's a face mask penalty. Not that it matters, but it does because we're going to go for two. But Black is stuffed back at the five-yard line. So it is 28-19. We were trying to make it a seven-point ball game. And that pass was almost picked off. UC Davis with a nice stop. Third and long again, though. Right side. Screenplay again to Jaquan Brown. Runs over a defender and gets taken out of bounds. Very close to the marker, but it's fourth and inches. Huge play coming up right here. And Black is going to take off. No, he's going to chuck it deep inside the 20. And Gallon comes down with another one. He is having a career day. Over 150 yards receiving. Absolutely unreal. Lozano hurdles a defender, gets it inside the five-yard line. Second in the country for rushing yards on the season. Black, left side to Lee. He had a touchdown, but the hit jarred the ball loose. So a big stop, fourth and goal at the four-yard line. You see Davis actually sends on the field goal unit, and the kick is through the uprights. 28 to 22 is the score. And Cole is sacked. And that is Demarcus Webb. His first career sack. And that was a big one. It's fourth and 22 now. He pretty much came in unblocked. Ran right past the offensive lineman. 
Black going to take a shot here. Pressured. He is rolling way out to the right. This play is taking forever. He throws back across the field, and he's picked off by Petway. And he returns it up to the 28-yard line. Not a good decision from Owen Black, who's trying to make a big play to get the lead for his team. His heart was in the right place. His head was not. And there is another quick strike to Carter for his third touchdown reception of the game. UC Davis not done yet. They're not going to give up that easily. As Black hits Francis wide open, breaking a tackle up to the 42-yard line. His first catch of the day. First down. Black pressured again, rolling right side. Throwing out deep over the middle, and it's caught by Lee, who dropped the touchdown on the previous drive. Huge pickup. And Black pressured again instantly, but he finds Lee in the end zone for the touchdown. UC Davis back within one score. That was a strike from Owen Black. Third and 10, UC Davis needs a stop, but that man was wide open. Jaquan Brown gets plowed over by Johnson. And he has his second touchdown of the day. His first receiving, his other one, was a 92-yard kick return. It's not looking good here late in the fourth quarter. Last week, UC Davis actually had a 21-point lead against 8th-ranked Nevada. They ended up losing that one 31-21. So they've been in some close games and some big-time games. And there's Gatlin again at the 35-yard line. Over 200 yards receiving today. Have yourself a game. Wide open over the middle again is Lee up to the 12-yard line. And Black rolling out left side. And he's going to take off and get taken down at the 8-yard line. Second and six. Black rolling out. Francis is wide open. Black decides to keep it himself and gets it in for the touchdown. You see Davis back within one score. Not a lot of time left, though minute and a half they're down 43 36 and New Mexico State gets a big first down here and a face mask penalty on Elijah Christian who came into today's game with 13 tackles five for a loss one sack one fumble recovery and a pass deflection but the defense right now is letting down the team with a couple uh, huge personal foul penalties giving New Mexico State first downs and there is another first down and Harris might go all the way and Brown tracks him down inside the five-yard line so they don't get the 50-burger today. But New Mexico State's going to walk out of here with the win, 43-36. A very hard-fought victory for New Mexico State. In the first annual Aggie Bowl, we will see this matchup every season of this dynasty. I just think it's a, a fun idea. But not the outcome we wanted, of course. But UC Davis... Definitely plays like one of the more well-rounded schools that we have in this dynasty. 581 yards of offense today against the 25th ranked Aggies of New Mexico State. That is the most yardage that UC Davis has put up on offense this season. Only one turnover. There was that interception that made it a two-score game. It was hard to come back from that. A lot of points in the second quarter and in the fourth quarter. Owen Black played a fantastic game today. 397 through the air, two touchdowns, one pick, sacked three times. He also had 110 yards rushing. Lozano pretty much stuffed all game, 61 yards. Five broken tackles, though. That gives him 25 on the season. Sam Gallon, six catches, 209. Mike Lee, the slot receiver, 71 yards and a touchdown. Gatlin also had his first career touchdown reception today. Juan Brown, three catches, 55 yards. Lozano and Taylor had some catches. And Lozano actually had a drop as well. Sam Gatlin doing it all. Had a pancake. Demarcus Webb, Andrew Jackson, and Trey Henry III all had three tackles. Zachary Hyde had two. And everybody else has one. Except we did not see Caleb Chubb at all today. He had zero stats. But Trey Henry III played fantastic. Three tackles, one pick. He returned it for two yards, had a pass deflection. Marcus Webb, three tackles, two for a loss, one sack. Andrew Jackson, three tackles, one tackle for a loss, one sack. And we didn't see a whole lot of Tyreek Taylor today on offense. He had 13 yards on nine carries, two broken tackles, one catch for nine yards. But on defense, he had a tackle, one for a loss, and a pass deflection. Pretty busy day for him. 
And the next Aggies football game, they will be traveling to take on the Northern Colorado Bears. That is a week six matchup. I can't wait for that one. Our next game will be out tomorrow. That is Tulane, the ninth ranked Green Wave, coming to town to take on the VMI Cadets. I'll see you guys with that one tomorrow. Take it easy, guys.